Hey guys, this is your boy Ace, also known as Alvin Robinson. These are my thoughts to you guys that I give you guys. They're like wisdom to you guys. People have been calling them wisdom. So I just want to uh, tell you guys that uh, thank you very much for everybody who told me happy birthday. I appreciate it. I uh, had an eventful day, spent it, ended my day with my wonderful and beautiful and smart and intelligent and sexy girlfriend, Brianna, which I love so much. Uh, she was, uh, we were real, real cool and everything like that. Everything just went real fine. I had a, lo I had a lovely day. Shout out to everybody who did that for me, though. But I have to tell you guys something that has that has nothing completely to do with this. Before I get into my, my whole thing, I have to tell you guys something that has, that has nothing to do with this. I want to tell you guys that women are decisive. Women are indecisive. The female generation, the female gender, the female promoter, the females, females, girls, gender, female. That means girls, young ladies, girls, um, girls, I meant girls, uh, women, young women, all that stuff. You guys are indecisive. You guys are indecisive females. That's what kind of leads into what I'm going to talk to you guys today. But what I want to talk to you guys today about, uh, I really want to talk to you guys today about people being... I guess somewhat indecisive, but in a way, it's just like people. It's just talk is cheap. Talk is cheap, you guys. You guys know that. You guys heard that talk is cheap before. You guys heard it through your parents, through your, through your, your, your boyfriend or girlfriend, your mom, your dad, your, you know, your uncles and aunties. You guys heard that talk is cheap before, and talk really is cheap because although actions can't speak out of the words, if you are a man on your word or a woman on your word. I think I can hold you accountable if I know that you have proven me that you can always come through when you speak about something. You know, you know, you gotta have a accountability and a credibility with people in order to be like, well, I'm gonna be here at this time, and then you show up at that time with that person being said. Because there's credibility. You're not known. You're not known as somebody who can be untimely or not on time. You don't want to be known as somebody who can be not reliable or not loyal. Because people talk. Especially if you live in Nano Valley, people talk and you got to realize that everybody's going to know something about somebody because everybody has mutual friends on Facebook all of a sudden. So it's like that's how you get in trouble because people know that you have mutual friends on Facebook, especially if you're a guy named Alan Robinson who drops YouTube videos every Friday. You're really going to, people really going to know you. <laughs> nah, I'm playing y'all. But yeah, I just want to get deeper into it. It's just like sometimes, you know, people say they're going to do things and it ends up hurting somebody's feelings. Because it's like, especially when you have friends out there that you call friends and then you tell them to be here or be there at this certain moment and then they don't show up. It's that credibility that your friend is not giving you because they said, oh, yeah, I'm down for it. I'm for it. Even family can be like that. They can be like, I'm here. I'm going to be here. No worries. And then like when it comes down to the event, the time, the place, the date and everything that's just going straight. Do you sit there and you're like you find yourself in the people that said that were going that said they were going to be there that not there. Now, you know, you feel hurt. Now you're internally in pain because you trust these people. You put your faith in these people and people break that faith. I mean, the thing about the thing about people, you're going to be dealing with people for the rest of your life. You got to think that you sit right now, you sit right now, you between the ages of between the ages of 20 and 30 or 30 and 40 depending on whoever watched my video you have to think that you're going to grow and you're going to live and you're going to see new people and meet new people each and every year and throughout that year there's people you're going to trust people you're not going to trust there's people you're going to have faith in the people you're not going to have faith in there's some people you're going to be reliable there's people going to have credibility and everything and those people those people are going to be good people but the other people are going to be bad people so you have to learn how to place people because everybody knows talk is cheap anybody can sit there and run their mouth People do that when they fight. You can run your mouth when you want to fight. Run and be like, yeah, what's happening? What's happening? All this stuff and this stuff. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't back it up with your actions. That means actual with the get down. You want to, you know, you want to scrap a little bit. So if you can't scrap and you talking, people are getting their butts with for no reason. That's a good, that's a good example of that. Because people can talk, talk, talk your ear off and say all these different curse words and intimidate you to the max. But if they do all that stuff, but they can't physically get down. Then you like, okay, this person is a punk. This person has no credibility when it comes down to us fighting. So you want to build and you want to gain that credibility with people. Because you want to be a reliable person. You want to be a loyal friend. I mean, personally, I mean, I will, I will want somebody to, I want somebody on my side or my team to be reliable, you know, loyal and also credible when it comes down to me because that's what you should look, look for in a friend, like an actual friend. You should look for those type of things in a friend.
You know what I'm saying? Of course, you got to share the intimate moments as a friend. And intimate moments are not sexual moments for anybody who's out there thinking that intimacy is sexual. There's kind of like two sides of intimacy. There's intimacy where like you can bond sexually or just in sexual gestures. It's sexual appreciation. That's what intimacy is. But again, intimacy is just sitting there, laying down with somebody or just even talking to somebody over the phone and just talking about history, past history, experience, love, the way you feel about this, the way you feel about that. Just really putting your heart out and how your, how your feelings are, expressing your feelings. That's intimacy because it's like the way I want to be touched, the way I want to be this, the way to this. That's, how, that's what intimacy is. A lot of you guys are gaining intimacy every day. Don't even know it. That's why you. That's why when you do, you have so much feelings for your friends because you tell your friends so much. You tell them so much. You tell them about what happened to you today. What happened with your boyfriend? Why you got your parents arguing? Did it this and that. That's why. That's why when girls have boyfriends, their boyfriends are like their person that they just really truly accountable. Even if they treat him wrong, because they know that he always been there to take the blows when mommy and daddy was fighting, or when you and your sister wasn't being so cool, or you and your best friend had a fallen out. You know, so I, I, I respect any girl that does that, but there's a certain way you have to be treated, and that's that's a different that's a different um, a different uh, video for me. But really, what I want to tell you guys is just that talk is cheap and stay true to your words. If you can't stu if you can't stay true to your words, you can't stand for anything. What else do you have as a person? What else who you can what else can you rely on if your words mean nothing? If every time you speak and your words mean nothing, who are you? You have to ask yourself those type of questions. Take a deep and long look in the mirror and see if you're a reliable, a credibility, and a, and a loyal friend. You have to look at yourself and look at yourself sideways. Look at yourself up and down. Look at yourself and see your heart. Because you have to be placed in the right place in order to be placed within the right people. And when you get placed within the right people in life, you become something successful by the end of the day. Because God sees that. And as well as the people around you sees that. So they're going to say, oh, well, man, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do this for you. People call it luck. I call it blessings. That's what, that's, what, that's what you get in life. That's what you get in life. But it's like talk is cheap. Talk is cheap, talk is cheap, talk is cheap. But action can't speak louder than words. But if you have no words, there's no point of you doing it. Don't talk about it, be about it. You heard that before too. Or you heard just do it. <laughs> Nike. Y'all know what it is. As, as I can say a million things over this YouTube video, I can say a million things to you guys and tell you guys what to do and what not to do. But if you can't apply what I say, that's all I ask for you is apply what I say. I'm not saying just convert your whole style of your life over conversion. I'm not trying to convert anybody to the Ace Thoughts religion or YouTube videos and you believe anything and everything I say. I'm going to say a different things and a lot of things because my thoughts are running and it's processing. And you just take and you grab and you hold on to what you believe, what you what you feel that I said is right. Because that's the only thing that I can give you. But remember women are indecisive. That's what I said in the beginning of this video. You guys are decisive people, I and mean, I'm very controversial, so I know I'm going to get some comments from this video. Women are indecisive, but I love women. Mwah, mwah, I love them all. I love all races, all genders, and all ethnicities and cultures. I love you guys. But, getting back to it. Women are indecisive. Those indecisive women. Then you have people. Don't matter, um, male, female, that's what we have nowadays. We don't have aliens and dogs and stuff coming to life. People. People are going to not show up and going to show up at a time where their talk is cheap and their actions can speak louder than their words and their actions are doing something with their words not. Their words are lined up and said and they don't and they don't say what they're doing. So it's like I'm going to go to the store and then you end up being at home. I'm going to go to I'm going to go I'm going to be at home and you end up at a friend house. It's like that type of thing. It's like I'm always going to be here for you. People can promise you that to the day you die, but sooner or later that person is going to leave your life unless that person is not going to marry you. Because people will come and go. It's like revolving doors. As soon as one's going in, one's hitting back in, right back in. Because a friend comes in after a friend leaves. So it's like, hey, you can deal with it in your life. You're going to be dealing with it, especially if you're 20, especially if you're 19, you're in high school, you're at your senior year. People are going to come and go. These people are not going to be here with you at the end of your lifetime. When you're old, you're about 80 years old, sitting on a porch or spending time with your significant other in Hawaii or something. That person's not going to be there. Your kids are going to be growing up. You're going to live an ultimate life and a successful life. People are not always going to be there. Talk is cheap. Actions speak loud in the words. Words may not meet actions. Actions may not meet words. Truthful. Truthful. But, uh, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys like my video. You guys enjoyed it. My name is Alvin. You can follow me on Twitter at Ace the Great. 
You can uh, hit me up on Facebook from great to great. That's the greats page. New music coming soon. I love you guys. Respect. Much love. Pray all day.